Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday and welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you guys all had a really good week. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what my week was all about. Um, if you don't follow me over there, uh, it's just Mr. Kong's mom, just like my channel name. But um, Stella and I have had the flu. <laughs> she came down with it on Friday night. Um, actually, went she went to the daddy-daughter dance that she went to last year with Craig and she didn't even make it halfway through the dance before she um, just completely like just got overwhelmed and she just fell asleep on Craig's leg. <laughs> so I felt so bad. She was looking forward to this dance for so long. She loved it last year and she was really excited to go again this year. So I was really bummed out for her that she re didn't really get to enjoy it. But honestly, she was so sick. Um, Saturday was a really rough day. Sunday was a really rough day. Um, I was the one that was taking care of her for the most part. And so I got sick too. Um, but um, there are some things that I did differently this year because we got the flu last year over New Year's. Um, it was a different, it was flu type B last year. This year we have flu type A. Um, but there are some things that I did differently this year that I think have helped me recover so much faster than I did last year. Uh, don't get me wrong, I had a rough like two day period, but I am healing so much faster from this flu than I did last year. Like it is a world of difference and I'll tell you about these products here in a second, but just so you guys know, Stella's doing okay. She's basically been home from school all week. Um, She's pretty weak. She hasn't been eating a ton. I have been forcing her to drink as much water as I can get down her. Um, you know, we've obviously taken her to the doctor. She's on Tamiflu. And, um, you know, we're trying to, like, battle it as much as we can. But I think it's just going to kind of have to run its course. Um, it's funny because last year she just was, like, she was out for a couple days and then she was, like, good to go. But this year it's really knocking her on her butt. So... I just, I feel really bad for her, but, um, she's a tough girl and she'll fight through it for sure. But so anyway, um, I was starting to wear makeup again by, uh, Tuesday, believe it or not. Like I just, I wanted to feel as normal as possible. And so even when I was feeling at my worst on, it was like Sunday that I really started feeling kind of bad myself. Um, even when I was feeling at my worst, I was still going in the shower and, you know, doing my skincare and stuff like that. And I kept eating this time around. It was tough because <laughs> I was really nauseous, but I kept eating just a little bit and I was still taking some supplements that I've been taking for a little while here. And I think these supplements made a huge difference for me. So um, I'm not telling you guys to like, you know, use all the same things that I use, but I just wanted to share my experience because I really think that this was the game changer for me this year in terms of getting this flu. Um, I have been working with Dr. Vitamin Solutions for a couple months now. They have sent me a few different types of supplements to try. One of the ones that I really liked that they sent, um, actually it's been more than a couple months, a few months uh, ago was their Ultra Bliss. Um, that was, that's a really, really great product. I actually uh, finished my first container of it. You will have seen it in my empties in January. Um, they also sent me a liquid vitamin C, which I just, um, I just finished that. Uh, it was actually the end of January. I had a hard time with that. It just, it didn't taste very good. Um, but anyway, so I was talking to my contact Jess over there and I was asking like, um, I've read a lot of good things about taking probiotics and prebiotics, and I'm also looking for just a really great general, like, multivitamin type supplement. Um, admittedly, I know you should get your vitamins, your minerals, your, the bulk of your nutrition from food, but if I'm going to be entirely honest, I am not the person that cooks every single day. Um... I don't keep the house stocked as well as I probably should as a mom. But then again, my kid doesn't, she doesn't eat the kale. She doesn't eat the broccoli. She, she doesn't eat anything green. Um, I keep things stocked with <laughs> what she eats. Um, and Craig and I are very much like, we do like to go out and eat. And um, it's just what we like to do. 
it is it is not you know what everybody else does obviously but what I'm trying to say is my diet could be a whole lot better um, but right now I'm just not in a stage of life where I am in the mood for cooking as much as I should and so I do have to get a lot of the vitamins and minerals that I'm probably missing through supplementation and um, so uh, Jess sent me this Garden of Life Vitamin Code Liquid. Um, this is a multivitamin formula. Um, I do keep this in the fridge, by the way. And then she also sent me the Immune Power Immunosynbiotic Prebiotic Plus Probiotic. Um, so this is a dietary supplement here as well. Um, these are uh, capsules. Um, what is kind of interesting about these pro and prebiotic pills here is that you don't have to keep them in the fridge. Most of the ones that I've purchased in the fat in the past tell you to keep them in the fridge after you open the bottle, but you don't have to with these. Um, so even when I was at my sickest, I was taking my daily shot of this. It was hard to get down. Um, and I was taking these probiotics and prebiotics. You guys, it made such a huge difference. Continuing to eat tons of fluids and then taking these two things made me feel so much better this go around. Um, now these particular vitamins that I'm taking may not necessarily be the best fit for you, but I wanted to tell you guys about them um, because I think they're really great. Um, so this particular product right here is, it's a liquid, you keep it in the fridge after you open it. I'm gonna show you guys. This is a very, um, it looks like this is colored with turmeric. Uh, it is the color of turmeric. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the smell and taste of this stuff, this is uh, the mango flavor, by the way. The smell and the taste of it was really rough for me when I was feeling nauseous. But as soon as I got this down and washed it down with water, I honestly, within like a couple of hours, started feeling better again. I just feel like this was like fueling and feeding my body full of things that um, I was just not getting from food. Um, so this is really great. This has um, mixed tocopherols in it. It has mixed carotenoids, <laughs> carotenoid, carotenoids, oh God, and I'm nasally too. Um, this is a raw uh, organic fruit and vegetable blend. This has a raw citrus blend in it. Um, this has raw organic mushroom mycelium Celia blend um, has a raw organic sprout blend in it um, and then it has all the usual vitamins A, C, D, E, K, has B1, B2, ni uh, niacin, B6, B12. This also has biotin in it which is awesome because um, before I was just taking the Nature's Bounty hair, skin and nail vitamins um, which were not like a complete supplement at all. Um, they didn't claim to be, but anyway, I like that I get a little bit of biotin in here as well. It has calcium, iodine, zinc, selenium, um, copper, chromium, potassium, all kinds of really, really good ingredients. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't smell all that great. It doesn't taste all that great but it makes me feel so much better. So I've been taking a shot of this. Um, they tell you to just pour it in the cap. I pour it in a shot glass and then I just down it. Every single day I do this right before I break my fast. It's amazing. Um, and these prebiotics and probiotics, if you are not taking a probiotic, I cannot tell you what a big difference it makes if you have gut issues. Um, you guys know that the reason that I do intermittent fasting is because it really helps with a lot of my like bloating and things like that. Um, adding this in on top of like getting back into the intermittent fasting, which I talked about in my video would have been yesterday. Most of what you saw this week, by the way, was pre-recorded. Um, I tend to pre-record a lot. Um, so yeah, that's why you didn't see me sick in the videos. <laughs> Those videos were recorded a while ago. But um, anyway, like if you are not taking a probiotic, you need to start doing that, especially if you have gut issues. I bet that you will see a serious resolution of a lot of those issues, especially like the bloating stuff. Um, I think that once again, because my diet is not the best, um, I think that I needed some help in that department with a supplement. 
I'm gonna link both of these things down below for you. Dr. Vitamin Solutions did send me these for consideration, but I will be repurchasing them myself when I run out. Um, they are fantastic, you guys. Um, so I will link this as well as this down below if you're interested. Um, take a look at some of the other things they have on their website too. They have a lot of stuff that is geared towards just like general wellness, but also like anti-aging. There are a lot of supplements that you can take internally that will help with um, you know, anti-aging benefits as well. So um, take a look around their website. They have a lot of really, really great things. And um, if you need help with guidance, um, you know, they can certainly help guide you in the right direction of the specific products that you're looking for too. So they have great customer service. But anyway, I had to tell you guys about these two things because I think that made the biggest difference for me this year is um, staying on top of my hydration, still eating a little bit when I could get food to stay where it was supposed to be, and then taking these vitamins. Huge difference, you guys. And then another big thing for me was taking a shower every single day and still doing my skincare. Um, I kept it a little bit more sim uh, simple, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I didn't do the full meal deal every single day, but keeping your skin clean is super important. And um, Derma E recently sent me uh, a PR package. They will do that periodically. And they included their uh, anti-wrinkle cleanser in it. This has vitamin A and glycolic acid. This is great, you guys. It's just a good basic cleanser. Um, two pumps does my entire face as well as my neck. And um, I use this with my Clarisonic at night. It's fantastic, you guys. It is not drying. Um, it's very gentle. It helps to remove excess makeup, dirt, oil, bacteria, things like that. But it doesn't overly dry your skin. Um, in terms of the uh, the glycolic acid that's in here, it's very gentle. I feel like glycolic acid in a cleanser is kind of a good little addition, but you're gonna get a lot more of the glycolic acid benefits if you are actually leaving that on your skin for an extended period of time. But I think this is just a good basic cleanser to have that works. It's pretty affordable. And I think Derma E overall as a skincare line is fantastic if you are looking for more of a drugstore um, type of product. So moisturizing was another key thing for me. I was still using my Drunk Elephant A Passione, which by the way, the review of that will be up this next week. Um, I'm hoping to maybe record that on Monday or Tuesday once I'm a little bit less nasally. Um, so look for that next week at some point. But I've been using the um, uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cannabis and Oat Dry Oil. So I actually got this off of my Octoly store, so that means that I applied to First Aid Beauty to be able to review this product. I've only been using it for a few weeks now. Um, you can see I'm only about down to here, so I haven't been using it for like a couple of months or anything. But I feel like I can pretty safely say that this is a really nice oil, you guys. It is a little bit different from most other facial oils in that this one really does feel like a dry oil. It tends to soak into the skin very, very quickly. I'm just gonna show you guys here. It is, it's not 100% clear, um, but it's a thinner oil. Um, it has like a really slight, slight amber tone to it. But you can see it's kind of, it's a little bit more of a watery oil, but when you rub this into the skin, it feels the way that a, if you've ever used like a dry oil on your body, like for your legs or something, it feels that same way, but it like instantly absorbs into your skin and it like, like it disappears. Like there is no oily feel left to my hands at all. But oh my gosh, you, ooh, yeah, this is like a brutal difference here. I don't know if it'll come off on camera. My hands are pretty dry from all the hand washing, but look at the difference just in this dry, like, I mean, this is dry, this is painful. And this, like, it just immediately, like, hydrated. I, I wish that you could feel my hand. There is no greasiness to this whatsoever. It's a really, really neat oil. So there's obviously cannabis in here, as well as oat oil. Um, I still have, do I have the box? Yeah, I do. So let's see here. So they say that this is a soothing treatment oil infused with cannabis, sativa, seed oil, and colloidal oatmeal to help de-stress, relieve, and nourish reactive skin. 100% um, felt skin immediately smooth, and after 10 days, skin feels um, 
relieved, nourished, and less stressed out. This is really beautifully hydrating. Um, if you have severely dry skin, you maybe want to mix this in with just your regular kind of rich moisturizer um, because it is that dry oil. And if you like that kind of oily, occlusive feel on your skin, if you have really dry skin, you're not going to get it from this. But I think it's a great addition to mix into another moisturizer, which by the way, I'm going to tell you guys, I've also been mixing it in with this or just putting it on top of that. But um, this is just really nice, you guys. I will put a link for this down below. Like I said, I got sent this via Octoly, so I didn't have to pay for this, but I was kind of curious when it popped up because you guys know that I picked up the Herbivore. Um, they have a, I can't remember if it's a hemp or cannabis oil. Um, but they have a very similar product and I haven't opened that one yet. I need to open that one, but I want to use this for a couple more weeks. I want to do like an in-depth review on this, but I want to use it for just a little bit longer. So stay tuned. Another video will come um, regarding this particular product, but I wanted to let you guys know about it just in case you haven't heard about it yet. It's really, really nice. I do like First Aid Beauty. I think they have some great skincare and honestly, I just, I can't, I can't get over like how fast this one absorbs like way faster than any other oil that I have in my collection so if you're looking for something maybe for the daytime that would be the way to go for sure okay the moisturizer that I've been either mixing it with or I've been putting this on first and then that on top is the Paula's Choice uh, Clinical Ceramide Enriched Firming Moisturizer this is really great you guys I love this it's part of my skincare panning challenge and I'm actually getting pretty close to being finished because the little pump thing the bottom of the pump thing is right here so I'm I'm nearing the end of this I really like this moisturizer a lot you guys I do think that it does help to firm the skin up a little bit um, it's it takes continued use to see that type of benefit and I've been using this for several months now kind of on and off um, it's a really nice product you guys Paula's Choice skincare just hands down really is one of the best ones that I have found um, it's not the least expensive. It's also not the most expensive to be entirely honest. If you've never checked them out for any of their stuff, I swear by their BHA9 and I swear by their 10% niacinamide. I will link both products down below in addition to this because I think they are game changing products for those of you that have enlarged pores, um, clogged skin, if you deal with a lot of blackheads. Um, that BHA9 is going to, over time, help get rid of those blackheads. You have to use it consistently, though. That's the thing. Um, and then the niacinamide is going to shrink those pores back up after you get rid of those blackheads. It's just an amazing combination. It has made a world of difference in my skin. And you guys have seen it over the years. You have seen my skin from, like, way back in 2010. And it was kind of rough looking back then. I was dealing with a lot of congestion a lot of clogged pores. Once I really started like hitting the skincare hard, um, it just made such a big difference for me. And Paula's Choice was really where I started. So I credit this line with a lot of the progress that you see in this region right here. All right, I was wearing some makeup this week. You guys know it's coming. I did a review of this, which I uploaded for yesterday. Um, it's the new Viseur Liaison Palette. Oh, I love it. I love it, you guys. I do. I think it's one of the prettiest things that I own, but I love purples. You have to love purples for this palette. You also have to like cool tones. These are more on the cooler end of the spectrum. I know most of you guys are like, warm everything. I am not the warm toned girl. I love more of like the neutrals to the cool tones. Um, and this, I just, I, I couldn't not have this. I ordered this on when it was available for pre-order on Beautylish. They actually texted me and got me in to like get the palette before it was like even released to anybody else. Unfortunately, because of our snowstorm, it was a couple days delayed actually getting to me, but, um, Beautylish had wonderful customer service, like mad props to them for like being on top of it. Like, I don't know how, they're a pretty major company. Like, I don't know how they're like so, like it's just so like customer service like oriented. Like Alexis just texted me and at first I was like, this is, are you texting me? Like, 
Sis, are you really from Beautylish? Like, for some reason, I thought she was trying to scam me. She was not. She was just helping me get my order in, and I love it, you guys. If you missed the video um, from yesterday, I will link it down below. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I just talked about it there, but I love it. Also, CoverGirl has a brand new mascara, and they actually sent me this as PR, um, so it's kind of cool getting PR from CoverGirl because this was one of the very first makeup brands that I was wearing way back in middle school when I started out with makeup. Um, I love that they are now cruelty free. It honestly just is fantastic. So this new exhibitionist um, mascara here, the little card that they sent um, says that it volumizes like a $25 prestige mascara, but it's available for $7.99 at uh, mass market retailers nationwide. So. You should be able to find this now at basically any drugstore. So check out Target, Walgreens, Walmart, all those places. This is a good mascara, you guys. Does this wand look familiar? Um, we all know this wand. Um, it is that classic kind of hourglass natural bristle wand that we're familiar with from the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but it's done a little bit better here. Um, the opening that is in here is not as like cavernous as the Too Faced Better Than Sex. So I don't anticipate this drying out as quickly as that mascara does. This is a great formula, you guys. Truly with one coat, you can get a good amount of volume. I actually, I have this on my lashes today. So this is one coat with just a little bit of extra mascara kind of like in the outer portion for like a double coat out there. But this is great. It is a thicker, drier formula to start with. So if you are someone who is looking for length, um, typically wetter mascaras will give you the length. Drier mascaras will give you the volume. This is drier. It's not gonna give you a bunch of length if that's what you're looking for, but it's gonna give you some really nice easy volume. With two to three coats, you could really build this up to get some like chunky looking lashes. So this is good stuff. A big thanks to CoverGirl for sending this out. They also have a um, waterproof version, which I have not tried because waterproof mascara is not really a necessity for me. So, but anyway, it's available. Um, on my lips right now, and honestly what I've been wearing most of the week, um, besides lip balm <laughs> is this right here it's just the bare minerals uh gloss and sugar it's just a melanie mauve it's very basic but these are really nice and hydrating and they're easy to wear not a ton of opaque color and coverage but they're just really nice and basic and i really like this color with purples i feel like this works <laughs> um and then a powder that I really like that I just finished, and I will repurchase this at some point for sure, but um, I wanted to tell you guys about it before I put it in my empties. It's the Laura Geller Filter Fix Baked Correcting Setting Powder in Universal Apricot. Um, she is pretty much all gone. Um, I, I don't like this netting stuff, so I ended up cutting that out so I could get to all of the powder. I really like this a lot, you guys. This is a wonderful powder that helps to Blur the look of pores. Um, I like to actually put this on before I put my powder foundation on. And this one works fantastic for helping to, like I said, blur the look of the pores. Um, helps foundation glide on beautifully over top. And sometimes I'll even apply this over top of my powder foundation for like extra oil absorption, um, things like that. So yeah, this is, this is great. I'm sad that it's gone. <laughs> And I know I can't buy another one for a little while because I'm committed to finishing up a few more of these um, setting powders that I have in my like foundation drawer. So anyway, and one more thing I quickly wanted to tell you guys about. So if you watched my video from last Sunday, I uh, showed you guys the Portovino wine purse that I got from Octoly. Well, Octoly also had Melly Bianco purses, and um, I've been wanting to try one of these for a while. So I did apply to Melly Bianco to be able to um, review this one right here. I honestly, I don't remember the name of the style. I feel really bad. I should have checked it before I came up here, but I've been using this as my everyday purse actually for the last couple of weeks. And, um, this is very unlike me because it's so small, 
but that's honestly why I picked it because I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could actually get away with using a smaller purse and I can. The key is I can't use my regular wallet though. So I, um, my mom actually bought me this really cute Michael Kors, just a little tiny wallet um, for Christmas. So I have my license in here. I have one credit card and then I have just like a couple of 20s. So normally I carry around like the whole shebang. Um, but yeah, you have to use a smaller wallet with this one. But I really like this kind of like bucket style here and I really love the handle on this one. So it's like this like kind of semi-circle thing and it's really easy to get in and out of the bag. Um, there is a little pouch here on the side where I can slip my cell phone in so that's really easy. The only other things that I have in here are a ridiculously big brush. I should get a smaller brush. And then I have a Buxom Gloss and then I have my Skylar um, Capri perfume. So this is what I've been using as my purse and I really like it a lot. So um, again, because I did get this off of Octoly, I did not pay for this purse, but Melly Bianco has a lot of really great purse options. Um, I believe every single one of her handbags is vegan, so they are... They're not leather, they are synthetic, which I think is nice. Um, but they're really well made. Um, I am definitely gonna be looking for kind of a bright, maybe, or blush, like, summer handbag. And I think I'm gonna check out some of the other ones that they have available. But I just thought this one was really cute. And it's just been really nice for me to have something a little bit smaller. And I really like the style of this one, so I can just kind of, you know, like, I don't know. I usually carry a pretty big purse, so I thought this one was kind of cute, and I really like the style of it. So there you have it. All right, I'm going to stop talking because, honestly, I'm tired, and I should, I should probably go take a nap. I'm going to check on Stella and maybe lay down with her for a few minutes, but I hope you guys have a really fantastic weekend. Um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I will link everything that I showed you guys here down below. I hope you have a safe and happy and relaxing weekend. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.